Hey there, gamer guys and gals. We got another little budget friendly platformer from East Asia Soft, and it was developed by Derek DF. And you can currently grab this for $4.99 on all platforms, as well as PC, I believe. And it's Master Maker 3D Ultimate. It's kind of inspired by those old N64 games when 3D first came out. I was never too big a fan of those. Uh, I never really liked the controls. Now on this one, the controls are kind of loose and irritating. Like you'll find yourself, if you've got a controller with uh, any kind of drift at all in it, you'll find yourself walking off of, you know, platforms over and over and over. And uh, it gets really annoying. And, you know, most controllers now, they get drift, you know, as soon as you get them pretty much. So the controls can be kind of loose and irritating. But it's a $5 game. And if you're just looking for something fun, Something for all ages. I think you'll enjoy this if you're into platforming. You're basically just trying to get from point A to point B. Get to the flag. You know, there's coins, but they really serve no purpose. There's no shop and nothing to spend them on. And it doesn't even matter how many you get to finish the level. So it's kind of just like they threw them on there just for something to do. Like, like I don't know, maybe if you were speed running and you had to get all the coins to finish the level or something like that. Maybe they might be an objective, but really they're kind of just pointless as of right now. Like I got 60 coins there, and it wouldn't have mattered if I got zero. I still would have finished the level, so it doesn't really, you know, do anything. But I just have a level creator. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it. But you can build your own levels. You can't upload them or anything for anybody else to play them. They're pretty much just to build for yourself. Sort of like a site bike back in the day. I guess you and your friends could play them, you know, couch co-op if you wanted to uh but it, it's you can make whatever kind of levels you want and play them over and over uh you get a hammer here that's like sort of like a boomerang you can throw it to kill enemies or bust boxes um you don't have to kill the enemies just like you don't have to collect the coins to finish the level so I, I just don't really you know see the point of that i wish they would have added a little more to this game like a shop maybe to get some different outfits you know, uh, get some different le stuff for level creation. Just things like that. You have some kind of per reason to collect the coins. Or some reason to, you know, kill the enemies. The uh, only way, reason I could think of that you would do it is if you were doing a speed run. And, you know, you were doing to collect all coins, you know, to count your speed run. But uh, a lot of the levels, you can just jump over the walls and find shortcuts. For your achievement hunters, you're going to love that because there's 50 levels. Plus, I think you have to do like five bonus levels to get all the achievements for this one. And I believe it's a 2,000 score. And knowing East Asia Soft will add more to that after the release. But there's tons of little traps like spikes and, you know, enemies getting in your way. Uh, but a lot of times you can just bypass all this like you'll see here. Like that's the way you're supposed to go. But I'm just going to jump on the edge of the level and walk to the end of it and skip all that. There's some levels where you can beat the level in like two seconds. You can skip everything. Like right here, I'll show you. You know, you don't have to do anything. Just finish the level. So that can be, you know, short and sweet for your achievement hunters. Like here's another one. I just skip all the level by jumping the wall. So all I have to do is go grab this hammer to break the blocks to find the last level flag. And, you know, like that, sometimes the flag will be hidden behind the blocks. And that's why you had to get the hammer here. But I skipped, you know, 90% of the level and just uh, jumped over the railing. That's cool, though, because sometimes you don't want to play the 50 levels. It can be super repetitive. But I'm going to give it a decent score. It's still fun for $5. It's something to play with the kids. I'm going to give it a 6.4 out of 10. Uh, if you got some little ones, it can be challenging, and you can help them, you know, along the way. But it's uh, not too challenging that, you know, they're not going to enjoy playing it. Plus, there's no real penalty for death. When you die, you just start like right off whatever checkpoint or the beginning of the level. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for support as always. And, you know, until next time, see you in the boards.